enacted an amendment that would have paved the way for new abortion restrictions. CBS News projects Tudor Dixon, the winner in Michigan's Republican primary for governor, setting up a rare woman versus woman general election matchup. Now we have the opportunity to truly hold Gretchen Whitmer accountable for the pain she has inflicted on each and every one of us during the past four years. China has blocked citrus and fish imports from Taiwan a day after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi arrived on the island. CBS's Trinity Chavez. China considers visits by foreign officials as a sign of recognition of Taiwan's sovereignty, which China challenges. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. I'm Dennis Rumsey with a news update. A Menden Township man defeated incumbent Kathy Pangle from the St. Joseph County Board of Commissioners following yesterday's primary election. Unofficial results show District 3 challenger Rusty Baker topped Pangle by a margin of 55 to 45 percent. Baker still has a general election ahead of him in November. Barring an unlikely upset in that contest, Baker will secure a two-year seat to what will be a seven-member commission beginning on January 1st. Pangle's tenure will conclude December 31st after six years on the board. She herself joined the board after pulling off an upset of incumbent Don Eaton in 2016. Baker will likely be one of four new members to the board, with expansion from five to seven commissioners will add two additional members. The district is comprised of Park, Menden, and Leonidas Townships and a portion of Colon Township. The race for St. Joseph County Commission's District 4 featured two challengers seeking to replace Dan Chakowsky, who is stepping down after a six-year run. White Pigeon resident Louis Rosado had a narrow victory over Constantine Township's David Hayslip. Unofficial results show Rosado secured about 53% of the votes to Hayslip's 47%. Starting in 2023, District 4 will be comprised of Constantine, Muttville, and White Pigeon Townships. The St. Joseph County Transportation Authority received strong support in its request for renewing one-third of a mill to continue operations at their current level. The request was approved by a nearly two-to-one margin. The Three Rivers-based agency was also successful in 2010, 2014, and 2018 in identical request. They, too, were supported by roughly a two-to-one margin. Agency Director Alan Baylog said the millage generates about $730,000 for the agency that operates on a $2.5 million budget annually. The agency, which has a fleet of 28 vehicles, provided a total of nearly 82,000 rides during 2019. Baylog said ridership is back to 75% of its pre-COVID figures. With most precincts reporting, Jonathan Lindsay appears to have defeated incumbent Kim Lasada in the Republican race for State Senate District 17. By late last night, Lindsay had a margin of 61% of the vote to Lasada's 39%. Meanwhile, Steve Cara was on his way to re-election to the Republican nomination for the State House District 36 seat. As of late last night, Cara held a lead of 41% of the vote in the four-man race over his closest opponent, Jerry Solis, who had 22% of the vote. Jack Coleman and Scott McGraw were in third and fourth places. For news anytime, visit our website, WLKM.com. I'm Dennis Rumsey. Here's your updated WRCI forecast. A heat advisory begins at noon today and continues until 8 p.m. tonight. Chance for scattered storms today, otherwise a blend of clouds and sun. High temperatures reach up to 93. Winds out of the southwest, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Scattered thunderstorms again tonight, 70. Overcast. From the Weatherology Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Derek Height. Currently, it's 68 degrees.